Hello everyone, Squid of Baconator here, welcome back to Battle for Bikini Bomb Rehydrated. This time, we'll be going through the Kelp Forest. Here we are in the Kelp Forest, an interesting area with many sights to see, for those that don't get hopelessly lost first. All right, here we are, Kelp Forest, everybody's favorite level in the game, yay! Well, at least, at the very least, the lighting is better <laughs> in this version. It's a bit hard to get through some parts of the Kelp Forest in the old, in the original version with how dark it was. All right, come on, collect the shiny object. <laughs> See if I can get this in one go. Why did it stop? <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like that keeps doing that. Anyways, there's the sock. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Fresh like a spring breeze. Fire guy, get over here. Damn it. <laughs> that was so weird. It's like I killed him right as he hit me. <laughs> See if I can. Darn it, I'm not gonna be able to do it. I love opening presents. No. What the fuck just happened? Oh god, I glitched into the thing! Is that Spongebob's mouth? Oh god. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna have to restart the level. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh hey, there's my legs. Yay. Hey, I got bubble shoes now. Yay. Alright, let's... can't restart the level but what the fuck I can't restart the level because I haven't reached mrs. puff to get the spatula to start up you have to go back to bikini bottom that is so weird all right let's try and not glitch into that thing there we go just barely made it Get that sock up here. Patrick needs to do laundry. Fresh like a spring breeze. All right, let's talk, Mrs. Puff, so we can actually <laughs> reach that check plan box. Hi, Mrs. Puff. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh. No, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. <laughs> I'm just uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean uh, campers, <laughs> off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Puff. I'm the sponge for the job. And that's why I'm holding my bubble wand out for no reason. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you found all of them. Okay, the reward I just want is to get rid of this bubble wand. Seriously, it's stuck to my hand. Please help. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Terror in 
Okay, I feel like SpongeBob just keeps saying ouch too late. <laughs> I feel like there's something I have to do here. There's a button or something I needed to press to get to that, get one guy. Down there. I know I need Patrick for some things. I'm trying to remember what. All right, before I go any further, get this guy out of the way. It used to be that only t that took him out in one hit. Come on, just die already, you moron. Get rid of those guys can focus on everything else here. I feel like a new sponge. God damn it. <laughs> why do I not, why am I not able to get these things on the first try? All right, there we go, that's how we get up there. Forgot this way had to do. And for that next part, now I need to get Patrick. the guy who was not far from where he was supposed to be. Yay! Okay. Now I'll go after this thing first. How many of these do I have to carry? A million. That's Only then better. will you be able to stop carrying any them. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Ooh. All right, and there's two out of six. I used to always try to get up there in the original by just jumping on those things, but I was never able to do it, because it's impossible, and I was stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. You sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. I feel like I always had trouble getting on these things with Patrick carrying the watermelon when I was a kid. 
I feel like it was always a bit harder for me. Darn it. No, wait, I think, is that what you're supposed to do? I'm trying to think of what I'm supposed to do there. Where, oh, right, the melon's down there. Okay. Okay, so I got this thing, and that, and that, and jump down on this bigger one. That did not do what I wanted to do. Okay, so I am supposed to throw the thing up there. I've always struggled with this part. <laughs> Well, thank you, game, for realizing what I wanted to do. <laughs> Better hurry before this goes. There we go. Right at the end. All right, found all the campers in this area. I could jump on that if I wanted to, but I don't want to risk dying. Okay, you're supposed to have me jump back there. Thank you. No, it's down here. Oh god, there's a second one. <laughs> oh, again, again. Alright, I think there's this guy there's something out here that I wanted to get. gotta remember what it is. Alright, another sack. Another one. There's a lot of these shiny objects just in the middle of these vines. Alright, now on to the kelp swamp. Which out of these I'm not sure which of these three areas in the kelp forest is my least favorite. It's like, this is a pain in the ass to get around, but the last, the third area is also a lot of backtracking, and then the vine slide thing that'll come up later is a real pain in the ass. Hi, Mr. Krabs. What are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick. I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there. I saw three tikis scattered around this area, but me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Okay, before I go too far. How many of these do I have to carry? I want to get rid of that damn thing before I... Whoops, that guy can actually get me on top of these statues now. <laughs> Need to get rid of that first, so I don't have to deal with more of these fuckers. It shines! No way, not yet. <laughs> I also need, as Spongebob, I just want to basically snipe that sleepy guy and also there's another one of those cowboy robots down there want to get rid of all of them first
You know, I very much preferred it when you, you guys died in one hit from these bubble missiles. There we go. Okay. This one goes boom. Yes, it does, Patrick. It goes boom. You want a cookie? Fuck. Can't even get the... Can't even get the underwear and restore my health. Yeah, that fucking jellyfish. I'll get... I'll get this first. Now, but I want to press. Come on, Patrick, get over there faster. <laughs> All right, there we go. Just got an achievement, Mega Spatula Seeker. Not sure what that really does. Or what that's for. Alright, time to head back. I love his face there. <laughs> Let's get on this thing. What, 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 what did I just do? What the fuck just happened there? That was... What the fuck did... What? I, I don't even... The game was trying to show me that button, but why did I... Instantly die? I just stopped... Bouncing on the thing. And I have to do this shit all over again. <laughs> okay, now jump over there. I feel like I just barely made it. <laughs> At least there's a checkpoint up here. Alright, don't want to go that way yet. No, wait, I remember now. It's like, I remember what I need to do to make this easier. Because if I remember correctly, you can't bounce when you're carrying these things. Let me do you, Yeah, you can't jump. You, you die. You need to bounce along these things first. and then press the button there we go that's why that was showing me that when I bounced on it but first I want to get this sock up here so shiny oh goody another one not sure if there's really anything on those other ones. Die. Let's see if I can get this guy first try. Damn it! Why did you lock onto the fucking Thunder Tiki? There we go. And there's the fifth camper. Alright, I almost forgot. I haven't been hitting them like I want to. 
Yay. Okay, up there, another one of those cowboy guys. That is probably gonna be even a bigger pain to deal with Patrick. Come on, what the fuck? How'd I miss? Oh god, you got over here. Woo, up we go. How am I? What the How close do I have to be to get this? There we go. Now he's going way over there. How am I supposed to beat him now? Just get closer. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, he did go boom. Yeah, there's a sack over there. I'm trying to be very careful here so I don't die and have to do all this shit over again. No, fuck! Wait, what the fuck? That was weird. I thought he died. Alright, I shouldn't have to press that button again. Hopefully I don't. Okay, there. Get out of the blast area. Hard as a rock. The... Okay, it looks like it tried to hit that robot down there and then it <laughs> didn't. Wait, wasn't there a button I could press that could get me up? No, I, I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> Okay, don't screw this up. I screwed it up, fuck. At least I'm back here. Okay, now he's just glitching out. I can't even hit him. <laughs> Man, I'm experiencing quite a few glitches this episode. Everyone. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully I don't die again. Get to the right spot. There we go, finally. This is such a pain in the ass. I really hate this. Yeah, that guy's still just bouncing up and down, having a grand old time. Well done, son. Next time I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab, I'll give you a call. Why would the customers want to be made round? <sighs> You're a strange one. You are, Patrick. And that's why we love him. Hi, Mr. Krabs. Not gonna say anything to your Hi, employee? Wow, that's rude. There 
There we go. All right, cowboy, you have yourself a good time bouncing up and down endlessly forever. Can't even hit this guy. <laughs> All right, to so the kelp caves. We're backtracking galore. Yay. Hey, kid. I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure, Barnacle Boy. What do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what's it do? What's it do? What's it do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me. It's worth finding these crystals. Uh, I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Too much information. Well, then you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. Oh, jeez. And this bubble missile thing is pretty hard to control in this game. <laughs> oh boy, now here's the gimmick for this area. Constantly having to switch between SpongeBob and Patrick over and over and over again until you get to the end. It's weird, it's like when I've heard people talk about how much they dislike this level the most in the game, I'm like, oh, it isn't that bad, but when I replay it, okay, yeah, it's bad, it's, it's bad. <laughs> Now what this area in particular, the Kelp Caves could really use is another one of these things towards the end of the level so you can don't have to come back to the same exact spot to switch characters out. Again, you're really terrible at this. <laughs> oh, jeez. I didn't even hit anything that time. There we go. Guys, first. Oh, sparkly! Fresh like a spring breeze. We will need to come back with Patrick again in just a minute. Got that area open. Now back to the stops thing again. The bus stop. Pick it up. Throw it. Pick it up again. Don't do that. <laughs> Number three. Reset this thing. Push, push button. Can't stop self. Gonna, so gonna need SpongeBob so to take that shiny. one guy out. Wait, I wanted to bring the tiki. Ooh, another one. 
Oh, there's at least a teleport box here, but it's still a pain to get around. Get on the thing, SpongeBob. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Oh, jeez. I... For some reason, I keep feeling like these controls are inverted. And I hit the cliff instead of the thing again. I don't know how I keep doing that. Why do I? Oh, I got it that time. It's like right here. That's where the bus stop could be at the end of this level. Why isn't there? Anyways, I found the last camper, so that's something. There's another crystal over there. This part here is always the most confusing, where I have trouble remembering what I'm supposed to do. It's like, I I can remember most of it, but it's like, okay, which part do I have to get this guy, and then where do I use Patrick, and eh. Might as well just go around, since I need the stone tiki from over here. I don't think it's any quicker to use the teleport box. Darn it. Thought I got him there. That's not where I want to throw it. <laughs> Isn't there another crystal up here? And then there should be one in that big area, and then we already saw the last one. Kill these guys first. And then I think there was a second one back at the end of the level. Of course it is, it's a rock. <laughs> Not sure why I can't just walk over that. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, I was supposed to throw... I feel like I'm... No, wait. I remember. I remember. Way back here, there's a third one that you need. <laughs> Yes, Patrick, throw it right back onto the thing, where it belongs. <laughs> oh great, another glitch. Now they're endlessly making noises, because I took it off so fast. Why am I not jumping on this thing? <laughs> Come on, Patrick. There we go. Well, those noises are gonna get annoying fast. There we go. Wait, 
I want to come over here as Spongebob. Continue dealing with these noises that are assaulting your ears. Well, at least now I know I'm gonna name the title of this VOD Glitch Forest instead of Kelp Forest. Get rid of this jellyfish so I don't have to worry about it. Oh shoot. Almost died there. Can't. I can't. Fuck! I was gonna say, if I was about to die there and I couldn't get over here, I was gonna be really pissed off. There we go, found the last crystal. Seriously, it looks like I shouldn't be able to make that jump. Okay, just exactly what I wanted to do. Hit the rock wall. And then hit the leaf pad. And hit the wall again. Go up. There we go. Now we can get the skull and spatula. And head back to Barnacle Boy. And continue listening to these vines endlessly looping. Barnacle Boy, I think I found all your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. All right, stand back. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> what happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Uh -huh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula <laughs> and go <laughs> away. Just go away. Of course, get away from me. Boy, I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Just go away. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> And goodbye. Get the fuck out of here, SpongeBob. <laughs> and just with that, I got enough golden spatulas to get to the final boss without needing to go through Flying Dutchman's graveyard. Hi again, Barnacle Boy. Uh, hey, kid. Anything I can help you with? No, just saying hi to one half of my favorite superhero duo. Gee, uh, <laughs> that's great, kid. But uh, don't you have some robot thingy to get back to? Nah, I just want to stay with you forever, and ever, and ever, and ever. <laughs> okay, now I can fi Okay, now we can get stuck there. <laughs> can finally get out of the kelp caves. This area takes so long to get through. It's been like almost 50 minutes and I haven't even gone through this last part. I hate this slide so much. I really hate it. Hi, Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Hey, I just saw Barnacle Boy. Do you want to see him? No. Okay. Oh, hello, Kyle. <laughs> I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held... The all time speed. I hate listening to this voice. Okay, I'll do it. I'm a bit busy with all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. Try not to fall off. Oh, I'm sure I'll fall off at least 10 times. No more, no less. Okay, let's. Jeez, Christ, I hate how this controls. Fuck. I my god. I have no idea why the fuck I go so fast on these slides. I love opening presents. Feels like just my default speed is 
Way too quick. Too pretty. Can't take. Yeah, it's. Much. I, I don't know why it's so fast. I'm not sure. Okay, so I literally have to hold back on the. Hold back on the control stick just so I'm able to make these fucking corners. God. Still like this is just terrible. It's like I'm, I'm holding back, but it feels like I'm just barely making around these corners. This is gonna take forever. Yeah, at this point, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Jeez, I am. Well, what the? Gee, I was really all over the place on that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna not finish this. I. I think I may just give up on getting any of these, either of these slide ones. Without. This is one of the. This, I don't understand why this is controlling so terribly. Like, God. It's just horrible. I can't... I can barely get around there. SpongeBob, there you are. Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned. No problem, Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. No, it was not fun. I hated every second of it. <laughs> You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You've definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff. I'll cherish it always. You're still here, Mrs. Puff? Oh, SpongeBob, I just feel like I'm all over the place these days. Well, have fun. See you at class. All right, that's going to be it for this part of Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. As always, thanks for watching. I'm really disappointed that I was unable to get those two slide spatulas, but I am not going to bother with that when the controls are so terrible. <laughs> See you guys next time where we go through the Flying Dutchman Graveyard.